As of April 28th, of the top 30 COVID-19 infected countries, only four are in Asia. Almost half of them are European countries, along with Russia, Canada, and the U.S. The U.S. managed to reach the top of the list within a matter of weeks and currently has more active cases than the next five countries combined. South Korea is now number 34. And granted it's only the size of Indiana State, it is a country of over 50 million people, with half of them crowded around the capital of Seoul. If you take a look at this next image, there's the obvious elephant in the room. The single Western woman isn't wearing a mask. Of course, a mask isn't the end-all solution, but could this perhaps have been a huge factor during this pandemic? It's very common to wear masks in many parts of Asia, not only to protect ourselves from pollution and contagious diseases, but also as a form of courtesy and protection for others. Living in Korea, I've learned that wearing a mask is a civic duty, whereas in Western society, there's a stigma that comes along with it. Although manufacturers like 3M and Honeywell have received funding to ramp up their production, the truth is that manufacturing power is insufficient, and much of it has to be prioritized for medical and essential personnel. Do keep in mind, the standard surgical masks and N95 respirators are not made for multiple uses, and despite their filtering capability, the pores of respirators will clog up throughout its use, making breathing difficult. That is why we created the Nanoflage X, a high-end protective mask featuring superior comfort, breathability, filtering power, and unmatched durability, as they are washable without any compromise to its integrity. Our mask has undergone extensive research and testing to meet the functional standards that we would expect from a high-quality mask. We're using a patented nanofiber filter developed by our partner ESO Inc. here in South Korea, a world-leading country in air cleaning technology. Harmful emissions of rapid industrialization in Asia have resulted in a high demand for state-of-the-art dust filtration systems. ESO Inc. patented a unique method of electrospinning to create the world's first filter to block 98.1% of air particles, all while maintaining natural airflow. We've inserted this filter in between two layers of mesh spandex, both of which are manufactured with antimicrobial agents to fight against bacteria like E. coli, ultimately preventing contamination and odors. The filter has passed numerous tests for safety and durability by the FITI Testing and Research Institute of Korea. The mesh material complies with safety requirements of the Korea Apparel Testing and Research Institute as well. This is a piece of the filter. Let's take a closer look by using this inexpensive microscope. I can simply clip it onto my smartphone for 60 times magnification. I'm going to flip on the LED light and attach it to my phone. I'm now holding the camera upright for better control. You can clearly see the intricate formations of the webs. Each little strand is merely 1 500th the thickness of human hair. Now let's take a look at this first test. As the streamers on the left will indicate, airflow is just fine. Now watch the meters as dust is introduced into the airflow from the top right. The first chamber almost immediately jumps into the bad zone, and moments later into the very bad zone. The filtered side remains clean. In this next demonstration, a standard spray bottle is able to knock off the dust that has been collected on the other side. But more importantly, only a few drops of water have managed to seep through. So not only does this filter block dust, Respiratory droplets don't stand a chance, which are said to be the main form of transmission of COVID-19. The following images are before and after cleaning the filter with a pneumatic spray gun, far more pressure than the spray bottle. Despite the likely attempt to use a finer mesh, you can clearly see the poor distribution, density, and formation in our competitors' nanowebs. Low durability, warpage, and low filtering efficiency are expected. After washing, the formation of our nanowebs have remained the same. The competitors' webs have been destroyed, defeating the entire purpose of a nanofiber filter. Outstanding durability makes cleaning very easy, which simply requires a gentle hand wash using a neutral detergent and a quick hang dry. We've developed this mask with the combined mission of cost efficiency and effective protection for everyone. We also believe that protective masks aren't just an urgent matter, but a matter of our future, as industrialization, pollution, and disease continue to plague our planet. Thank you for your time.